Yo, what's good, YouTube? Zai here, and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. We're back to bring a man we'll hit for you guys today. We're gonna get into episode 3 of our pack and play series. Now, what I intend to do with this is pretty much do like two episodes every promo, no matter how long or how short it is. Maybe three if it's a bit of a longer promo. We'll see. Like, for instance, I did them pretty early on in the last promo or the first one. I kind of want to like spread out the episodes a little more so that way it's updated cards because more cards are going to be coming out actually in this thing we're going to have a second drop of players so we're going to do one drop one episode with this drop and then try and get a player from the next drop one of them are going to be an epic though i will say that which will probably be next episode but i'm not too sure but anyways oh that last game we played amazing we did win but barely we got our challenge so what i'm I'll explain that all in a little bit, what we're going to do with our challenges, because i got to get the wheel set up still, but I'll explain that later on when we get to the actual game. But for now, i got to show you guys the team. Now, last episode, we did, we did get ourselves to Garrett Wilson here, 101 overall. Now, if I was to somehow pull the epic version of him again in, like, a later episode or something, I could actually trade up to the iconic version, because I got him, too. So, maybe we see that later on in future seasons. We'll find out then, but for now, we're still with what we have. What I would love this episode is a bunch of offensive linemen because they're all starters, which is not helpful. Or maybe a better halfback. Defensive wise, just upgrade really because they've played playing amazing. Patrick Sertain's been amazing. Special teams, maybe just a kick returner or kicker. That's really all. So yeah, that's gonna be what's the team we're looking at. We push. And now we got five packs to open up, so let's get right into it. So first off, we're gonna start off with two all pro or two pro packs, two all pro packs, and we'll open our Preseason pack. Pretty much any bonus packs I earn for like a win or something, I'm going to add that as like a pro pack, so like a bonus pack or something. Kind of like our challenge packs. And we're going to start off with Jason Sanders, a kicker. Big dub for sure. Pack 2 out of 5. What are we going to get here? No epic. We're going to get Van Jefferson, which I think we already have on the team, so if I'm able to upgrade him. I will, but if not, he's just still going to be a rare. I don't remember. All pro pack to five. Now these have been nice to me, honestly, pretty lately. Jason Sanders kicker already have his rare, so it doesn't help us out. And now we're gonna get Kari Gladson game on fullback. That will actually help us out. I will take that as an upgrade on the team. I would love some offensive linemen though. Maybe would be nice for us to get, but EA won't be nice to us. Dorian Williams already have his card, so if we get the, if we have the rare one, I'll put him in. Last but not least, we're going to get Jason Sanders again, so we'll open up a pro pack because we've pretty much pulled duplicates here half the time. Last but not least, our preseason pack. What are we going to get here? Definitely going to be upgraded on the team regardless. We're going to get Hayden Hurst with tight end. And last but not least, Will McDonald, defensive end. I will take that, but we are going to open an all pro pack for the kickers that we pulled dupes of. This is the duplicates. I'm going to open ourselves an all pro pack here. It's like a new one. Hopefully we get something different here. We're going to get Tareer Tart, I think he's an upgrade. I'm not too sure. And then we're going to get Matt Hennessy, offensive lineman. I'll take that. I'm going to go build the squad up, guys, and I'll see you guys in a second. So, guys, we're back after assembling the squad here for opening those packs. We are up to 76 offensive, 2 defense, and 77 special teams with a 22-32 overall, which before we had, we were, I don't remember, but... All I know is we, get, we got our offensive line and we're going to upgrade to level 5, because why not? Now he's a 73, which is cool, I guess. Don't know how, but that's what he is. This is a pretty nice card. Goes from 81 to an 84. Pretty nice. Here, Tarps, I'm going to go, let's go check our trades, because I think I have a rare version of them, I'm not too sure. Players we've pulled from packs, which was Van Jefferson. We had a Kari Blazing game at the start of the season. Our Rashad Bateman, our Jason Sanders, and also Dallas Flowers, I think we pulled in episode one. We're going to exchange them for an offensive rare player. This is an idea that someone gave me in the comments of episode one. Like, if I get players I don't need necessarily, I can put them to a trade and get a better card out of it. Which in this case, we'll be an offensive rare player. Hopefully, it's not someone we already have. I would love a quarterback, though. And we're going to get Will Clapp. Perfect. I will take that with pride as well. Overall, total, this is a squad we're going to be rocking with, though. So for our quarterback commander chief, we still have Trace McSorley, a.k.a. the GOAT. Can't level them up, which sucks, but for our halfbacks, we do have Chase Edmonds here. And Kari Blazen game at fullback. For our wideouts, we're going to start off with Hayden Hurst at tight end one. 
Will Disley at the two or at the flex. Our slot receiver will be Rare Van Jefferson. And our starting wide receiver is Gara Wilson here. For our right tackle, we have Walker Little. Matt Hennessy at right guard. Of course, the GOAT will clap at center. Soup Oak die left guard. And Justin Skull at left tackle. For our defense, our corner one is still Pat Sertan, with no secondary help other than Tracy Walker at strong safety. Our free safety is Taylor Rapp. Corner two is Christian Braswell. At the dime, Miles Hartsfield. At the nickel, Jonathan Owens. For our front seven, we have Matthew Butler at right end. John Ridgway lining up the 4-3. Career target lining up starting D tackle. Left end will be Jerry Hughes. Right linebacker is Sam Okonawa. Sam Okonawa, I don't know the name. Lining up with the 3 4 will be Michael Hoke. We're going to switch to him. At middle linebacker, we got Dory Williams, the rare version now, because we did have one on the team already, which we are going to level up here and turn him into an 83 overall card. Because why not? Our, right, our le left linebacker, I'm sorry, is Marcus Davenport, which is pretty cool. It's 83 in overall. Then moving on to our special teams Joe Norega, our punt returner. Ethan Evans is our punter. Tremont Smith at kicker returner, and Jason Sanders at kicker. Got again to our game, we're taking on Razor, which is only, which is honestly is probably the fairest game I could probably get here. We're only down by about like 20 overall or whatever. But it's pretty good that we have somewhat of like a equal field of gaming, I guess. I don't know how you would describe it. Oh, nice spin move by Tremont Smith, getting out to the 35. Let's go. And for our challenge this game, we are going to be getting a touchdown with three different players. Receiving or rushing, so it has to be three different players though. First off with a nice dish to Will Disley here for a first down. Let's go. Now let's throw a whip under the Garrett Wilson, perhaps, maybe. If Chris McSorley can get out, throw the ball. <gasps> Garrett Wilson <gasps> makes the catch of a game lifetime. Let's go, Garrett Wilson. Throw a dagger. Who do we have? Where's Hayden Hurst? There he is. Come on. You know, I'll just run off with Trace McSorley here. Get us about six yards. Let's go. Or seven. Shine a wide to Hayden Hurst for his first touchdown. Let's go, Hayden Hurst! First touchdown of the game. First touchdown of his career on the team. Don't know how long it's going to last, but let's go. SC Curlin. Oh! Chase Edmonds with the two-point conversion. Barely fading into the back. Let's go. We've had so many good plays where I don't even mind missing one play, but let's hit our... Kari Blast game, the new fullback, which gets us about nine yards or eight of them. I will take that with a lot of dignity. Now we're going to run fullback power on third and two, because why not? And we're going to get stuffed fourth and one. But that won't stop Chase Edmonds from getting the first down here, which is exactly what he does. And gets us almost to midfield. Uh, why I chose this play, no clue. Tight end out and up. Makes the catch, never mind, he does not. Four verts has to be the play here, you guys. Just has to be. And we're going to get sacked after trying to throw the ball third and 18. Well, I'm going to try again because I think we're able to hit this here. Garrett Wilson should be wide open. Yeah, like he is. First down. Let the 25. Let's go. I know he's open at the 24, but it doesn't matter. Garrett Wilson. Beautiful catch. First and goal at the 10. Let's go. Kari Blazin game up the middle for about one yard. That's all. A dagger to Kari Blasm game. Oh, wide open. Touchdown, Kari. Even though that's not how you say his name, but our two new players already have a touchdown. I'll take that. SC Curlin yet again. Will Chase Edmonds get open again? Yes, he will. Twin conversion. Let's go. Blasm game. 22 to 6. So we must have gotten a pick 6, you guys, because there's no way I already have that. So that looks like a turnover for an extra pack for next episode, which I will take. So let's go with a nice dip off pass to Hayden Hurst. Never mind, second and ten. Come on, where's A? And I decided to hit his helmet, third and ten. PA curl drag to Hayden Hurst. Come on, Hayden. Yes, first down, let's go. I was getting a little worried there for a second, you guys. Chase Edmonds pick, picks up about two yards, which I will take. China Y, Garrett Wilson catch, possibly. Oh, he's wide open. Catch it, please. <gasps> Toe tap, first down, let's go. Okay, let's throw B right here. 
Wide open Van Jefferson. First down at the 15. Double drags Will Disley. No, we're going to hit RB. Will Disley's wide open for the touchdown. Let's go. That's game over. Let's go. And that's three touchdowns right there. Te technically four if you think about it. And we're going to drop 30 points in our first ever pack and play with 30 points, I think, as well, you guys. Let's go. I'll take that. Now, guys, I believe we completed our challenge, so I'm going to go over to players. I'm going to go open up Pro Pack. Like I said, for every challenge we complete, we are going to be doing this. So, opening the Pro Pack, what are we going to get? Any upgrades here? We're going to find out. And Zach Tom, I believe, is an upgrade. We're going to go find out, though, real quick. Tom is an upgrade for us. That's a big W, honestly. So, the Pro Pack hits us again with the Lucky. Now, we got a new player on our team here. I love it. Zach Tom, happy for you. And happy for you to join the squad in the next episode because... We won that game. We'll take the dub, honestly. And probably our best game yet. So, it was a 30-point game, I believe. I could be wrong. I'm recording this video after I actually played that game because I have college moving. So, got busy with that. But, beautiful game. Won it. Extreme fashion. I think he, I don't even think he finished. Technically, it was a rage quit, which I can actually go look later for next episode. But, I don't remember exactly know how many packs I'm going to have. I'll look back at the footage and look back at my arena history and we'll get that set up for next episode and yeah hoping to get a new quarterback though even though Terry McSorley has been playing amazing I'd love a new quarterback soon and maybe a halfback but only time will tell anyways guys that is the end of the video if you enjoyed leave a like subscribe if you're new to the channel we're on the road to 1000 subscribers and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video peace